Welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077 2.0. Something weird I noticed is NPCs walking around holding their arm. This guy was going through here. He got he stopped. That guy's not holding his arm. Let's see if I see more of that. I saw a lot of NPCs walking around holding their arm. Man, maybe they just got vaccinated or something. I don't know. Anyway, so we're here in Kabuki. This is the save I've got. I'm gonna save this because we're gonna experiment with some stuff. Um, first things first. Back in the corner over here, Johnny's sitting here, and I've never really seen this before, but apparently this is a thing. This is like old. You come over here and you access this. This is some kind of a dev locker or something. I don't know. No, 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 no. Get out. And... The code is on the physical. I can't zoom in on that, huh? What the hell? Really? I want to clear it now. Because that's not the right number. And anyway, I looked at the code online because it's on... It's supposed to be on the physical box of the game. How do I clear it? And I thought you got a little, you could get in closer to it. There doesn't seem to be any way to clear it. I'll start over so I don't mess this up. And I noticed something else, too. They fixed the clock, finally. So the time it represents your time zone, I guess, now. Well, what is today? I don't know if it's right or not. Yeah, it is right now. So that's good. I can keep track of things a whole lot better, man. It was confusing before. Never knew what time to save was, and I kind of got to keep track of my saves a little bit. All right, here we go. So he's back again. So let's just do this. And I would like to get in closer to this. See, it says use. There we go. That's so why I want to get in closer. Okay. Enter code. The code is supposed to be six. Zero. Five. One. Eight. Five. Doesn't work anymore? Wait a minute, let's see what that says. I can't see that. Damn it. Open. Access granted. So what's in here? <laughs> I got my shadow there. That's pretty funny. Yeah, I have no idea what's in there. I didn't see what was in here, but... I also had to change that. That quick scan button was changed. So I was causing all kinds of... What do we have here? I was causing all kinds of havoc with it. Because it was an attack button. Okay, so what do we have here? It's like a lounge? I don't know. So what do we have here, Johnny? What is it? Do I gotta talk to you? What's this? 
I can sit. Talk to Johnny. Turn on the TV. Fuck. I don't believe it. So, there's nothing here, just... It's Johnny's place. His little hidey hole. And there's nothing in here, huh? Yeah, nothing there. Alright, so it's just one of them things that people go, Ooh, ah, look at what is cool. It's like, okay. Alright, got a little hidey hole for Johnny. Can I get out now? Uh oh, now I'm locked in. I have to enter the code again to get out? Well, that's kind of crazy. Let's open it. Okay, alright, well that was weird. Lock Johnny in there. Okay, let's go to the board. Let's look at this really quick. We gotta redistribute all our points. And I made a save of this just so we can play with it. I'm gonna go down here because this is where I wanna be, right? Let's look at this again. Cool. This is where handguns are. This is what I was working in. Which I kinda like. I mean, I'm looking at this and they really have maybe from what i can see right now they've made it simpler okay it just tells you real simple this is for sneaking around you've got precision rifles sniper rifles handguns and throwable weapons this also entitles you to use advanced stealthy perk abilities and subtle or street smart dialogue choices 1.25% crit damage per attribute point. All right, let's go in here. And we got to get this up to... Uh, in my last video, I was saying everything below the line is locked up. This is all locked until you get this up to four. So when you get it up to four, right, because what does this say here? It tells you here what you got to get it to. Yeah, cool at 9, so we got to get this up to 4 to unlock anything. So let's put a point in this. Okay, so that unlocks the first level. And we've got feline footwork. I'm looking for weapons first. Road Warrior allows you to use Sun Division. Sun Division. To slow down time while driving. This is locked until I take this. It looks like. See now they have—they actually have a skill tree. Before it really wasn't a skill tree. You could take anything as long as you had the correct attribute points. You could take and unlock anything. But these here are more like skill trees now where you have to unlock this one first. And there is... Do I want to unlock this? Let's see. This is mitigation chance. Small target mitigation chance. Blind spot. When I don't know what that says. When what? Crouched. Sorry. The higher your mitigation chance, the longer it takes for enemies to detect you. So, this looks like it says we only need to take one of these. So let's take this. Okay, we took that one. 
and let's take blind spot. Kind of try to get me back to where we were. What's this? Killer instinct. 25% damage with knives. And silenced guns outside of combat. They also provide a preview of estimated damage. So this does silence weapons. Okay, let's grab this one. And there's only one there. Okay. Quick getaway. 10% movement speed after neutralizing an enemy while undetected. 30 seconds or until you're detected. Stacks two times. Landing an attack on an enemy right after they detect you will delay detection from other nearby enemies. Okay, let's grab that one. Okay, I don't know what this one does here. This one's a little bit... This is the quick getaway. We'll leave that for now. So now, I gotta put cool up to nine to access any of these. Let's see what we got here. This is... Offers... Only effects. Pistols, revolvers, precision rifles, and sniper rifles. So there's a level 1 and a level 2. 10% headshot and weak spot damage. Okay, level 2 is... Unlocks focus mode. This mode automatically activates when you're when you're when you aim while at full stamina. So aiming takes stamina. That's kind of weird. I don't know about that, but when active, no stamina cost for shooting. Throwing or more accurate shots. Shooting, shooting, a lot more accurate shots, sorry. It has a 40 stamina. When it ends? When it ends. 40 stamina. Duration 2.5 seconds. These 2.5 seconds shit. Man, I take longer than that to think about it. Well, we gotta get this up to 9 anyway, so let's just put this up to 9. Okay, that gets... Yeah, I see how this is working now. Now all of this is locked until we get to 15. We get to the next level. Ah, right, what's over here? Scorpion Sting only affects throwables. Okay, so we want to stay in this tree here. Deep breath. Well, we got to go here first. We got to unlock this before it unlocks any of these. So let's unlock this one. And there's two levels here, right? One, two. Okay, well, let's unlock both levels of that. I have 11 perk points left and 16 attribute points. All right, so. Now we can go here. This is when focus is active. Shooting grenades out of the air is easier. <laughs> okay. Shoot grenades out of the air out of the air, eh? Road Warrior. We don't want to what's Road Warrior? That's that's the level below, which I didn't take Road Warrior, right? I did not. Okay. This is head to head. When focus is active, neutralize an enemy with a ranged attack results in a results in its Resets its duration. Okay. Crazy stuff here, man. Rinse and reload. 10% reload speed for your next reload after neutralizing an enemy while aiming. Stacks two times. No sweat. 50%. Fifty percent. 
negative 50%. Stamina, stamina cost from focus. So focus causes use of stamina. Made for each enemy while it was active. All right, well let's take that. This is throwing knives again. Okay, so this, let's stick with this for now. Cool at nine. Let's go to technical ability. What does this affect? Proficiency with explosive and tech weapons and allows you to be compatible with high-end cyberware. Okay, and intelligence. Improves your proficiency with smart weapons. It allows you to unleash your full potential as a netrunner. It also enables you to access local subnets under the net and dialogues. Okay. Plus one RAM per four attribute points. <coughs> we need one of these, at least. Reflexes. It improves your assault rifles, submachine guns, and blades. So right at the moment, I don't want that. I think I want to get into this one. One plus max run per four, max ram per four attributes. So let's get this up to four and see what we got. All right. Eye in the sky. Automatically high bite highlights nearby access points, which I, you know that's kind of cool, I guess. Reduces sequence length. Okay. Explosion damage from hacked devices. Additional explosion damage to enemies affected by quick hacks. That's interesting. Optimization, plus 25% RAM recovery rate. That's kind of nice. Reduced RAM cost, the closer you are to the target, okay. Encryption, 20%. Traceability? For all quick hacks? I don't know what that is. Can't quite see that. Twenty percent traceability for all quick hacks. I, I don't know what that means. And then we've got one hundred percent duration for control quick hacks used on full health enemies. Unlocks vehicle quick hacks, allowing you to remotely take control, set off alarms, or even blow them up. Hmm. From what I understand, the vehicle stuff doesn't really happen until you're in the DLC, until you're in Phantom Liberty. Let's do this one. And I like how you can refund these now. You don't have to reset everything. You can just refund individual ones, so if it doesn't work the way you want, the closer you are to a target, let's see what else we got. 30% traceability. I don't know what that means. Let's use this one, too. We'll take this one. Okay. And if we don't like the way they work, so we can re we get them refunded. This one I don't need right now, I don't think. 40% explosion damage from hacked devices. 80% additional explosion damage to enemies affected by quick hacks, including distracted enemies. So you can blow the shit out of somebody if they're distracted. We'll s we're just gonna sit on that for a little while. Let's we'll see what else is available. Um, up here, hack Q, so you can put more than one quick hack on an enemy. Plus one max RAM, but it's gonna cost me five attribute points to do this. Unlock. 
quick hack cues. So I got to get this up to two levels. It's going to cost me four attribute points and at least two perk points. Okay, to do that, counter a hack. When you're the target of an enemy net runner, you can quick hack them back through walls and obstacles. Okay, well that's kind of interesting. What's this one? Embedded exploit. Ten <clears> percent <throat> RAM recovery rate. Quick hack damage against enemies affected by control quick hacks. Okay. Only offers smart weapons. Only affects smart weapons. Okay, well, I'm not sure about smart weapons just yet. Ice pick. Ram cost. For combat quick hacks. Shadow runner. 100% more. After performing a takedown, 100% more progress? After performing a takedown. Okay, okay, whatever. It's kind of a weird thing. System overwhelm, 7% quick hack damage for each unique quick hack and damage over time effect. Affecting the target. Well, that's kind of interesting. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go back. Body. Progressing and improves your ability with shotguns, light machine guns, and blunt weapons. Enables you to gain or to gain open some doors by force. Rip off turrets. This is weird. Oh okay, yeah, 15. Okay, I got 15 attribute points. All right. And perk points. So the, the perk points are going away faster than the attribute points. Painkiller. Health regen in combat. Unlock slow health regen in combat. Comeback kid. 1% health regen for each percent of missing health. Okay. Speed junkie. Health regenerate with sprinting. Okay. Army of one. 10%. Health regenerate for each nearby enemy. <laughs> well, that's weird. Uh, Fury Road. In vehicle collisions. 50% damage to enemy vehicles and their occupants. Interesting. Negative 50% damage to your vehicle. Okay, so that's something that's new because vehicle combat is kind of new. So let's do with this. We've got 15 attribute points. Let's jam something in here. And maybe take this. This is going to cost me one perk point to get this. It'll regenerate my health. Okay. And then there was another one that I kind of maybe wanted here. Mitigation chance. Comeback kit. Health regen for each percent of missing health. 60% health regen rate while sprinting. Okay. And 10% health regen rate for each nearby enemy. Let's just take this one. Because I like running away before I die. So 
let's try that one. All right, for now. Okay, body's at four. I think. Um, technical abilities, reflexes. Yeah, this is uh, this is kind of weird. Definitely weird getting used to this now. Improves your proficiency with explosives and tech weapons, and allows you. Let's see what's in technical ability. Glutton for war. Instant recharge of instant recharge of health items and grenades after neutralizing an enemy. Okay. Recharge. Recharge speed for health items when you only use one charge. Because now you don't have a, you don't stack health items anymore. They have to recharge. You just got one health item and it recharges. And you got to wait for it to recharge before you could use it again. I know you all watch me spam health items. So let's do this. This is a perk point. And then this one here is recharge. 15% recharge speed. 30% health from the final charge of your health item. Hmm. This is 15% recharge speed for health items when you only used one charge. So I wonder how many charges they get. Huh. I don't know. From the last charge. Let's do this one for now. What is this? This supposed to be for cars again? Gearhead, yeah. So I still have a lot of attribute points available. And it seems like I'm... I have more attribute points than I do perk points, which is very odd, I think. Let's go back to cool, then, since I have all these attribute points. Because this is where I want to stick some, is in here. Well, let's get this up to 15. That's going to be... Six more. So, what do we got now? Deadeye. Only affects pistols, revolvers, precision rifles. 10% headshot and weak spot damage. 25% stamina cost for shooting. So, shooting. And then you got a level 3 one here. Unlocks Deadeye. Long shot, quick draw, high noon. When dead eye is active, this is dead eye. Okay, when dead eye is active, 25% reboot speed for your next reload. Oh, reload speed for your next reload. California Reaper, 30%. Damn it, I think that says. You gotta get some new glasses, I think. I can't read this stuff. I can't read half of it. Yeah, 30% stamina after re after neutralizing an enemy with a ranged attack via headshot or weak spot. Okay. 30% uh, weapon swap speed. Swamina, stamina, see, da, da, da. when Dead Eye is active, your shots always deal full damage regardless of distance. Okay, so this we'd have to get unlocked dead. I need three perks here and one perk here to get that. So that's going to take up the rest of my perks. Reload speed, stamina. We want damage. So let's do this one. And then we'll do this one. And then that's it. So we got seven attribute points. 
Now let's see something else. Um, stats. That ain't what I want. Skill progression. Okay, headhunter, netrunner. So, okay, decrease visibility. Netrunner. Solo. Increase health by 10%. So, we, these are your progressions here. I'm at. F each line is 10. Or at 5. Each, each line, each marker here is 5. I guess. I, I don't. Skill progression rewards. So something happens when I hit. Because I'm not at. It doesn't look like I'm at 20 here. 20, 16. I don't know. Still figure that out how it goes. I'm looking for the other. That little uh, scale that they have. <clears throat> where that's at. Let's see. Uh, skills. Oh, I think it was under cyberware. Let's look. Hold on a second. This thing. This thing here. I'm not sure how this works. Cyberware capacity. View in perk tree. Because I have more perks. So I could add to this, I guess. Let's see. Cyber view in perk tree. Let's go to cyberware capacity. What is this one? Armor. So I can add more to armor too. License to chrome. Let's view this in the perk tree. That's here? I guess. Let's go back. It says, view in the perk tree. So I work capacity 43 of 69. Perks increase cyber work capacity. Edge runner and resistance. Renaissance punk. Res Edge runner and renaissance punk. Edge runner. All things cyber. So, to increase your capacity, you kind of got to get your perks all the way to hell up here, which is a long ways up. Looks like you got to get tech up to 20. Okay. That's weird. And what's on this other side? This side is armor. That's here. We got to get this up to 15. Means we can get tech up to 15. So this is how you increase your armor and your cyberware capacity. Okay, that's a little weird, but we'll figure it out, I guess. Yeah, I guess it's going to happen one way or the other. Figure it out. And then I've got to look at my quick hacks, which are over here. Where are my quick hacks again? Uh, quick hack menu is... Here. Now they've, okay, and then they've whacked all of these because I can't use these now until I upgrade something. A... <coughs> So all the quick hacks I had before are now locked. A mod cannot be installed on an iron of lower tier. Because this is a tier 4. This is a tier 2. And can you upgrade it?
operating system. Tier 2. The only way to upgrade it is probably... to change currently installed cyberware. So I would have to physically go and get it upgraded to the next tier. Interesting. I guess we'll figure that out as we get, I don't know, <laughs> more cash and we get stuff upgraded. It'll, uh, it'll happen, I guess. I don't know. I, mean, I got a lot of cash right now. We could go see. There's a Ripper dock right here in Kabuki. We're not in Kabuki, are we? I think we're in, um, yeah, we are in Kabuki. Let's go. This video's getting kind of long here, right? We're running out of time, but let's go to, uh, let's go see the Ripper dock over here. Where's he at? He's this way. Let's just go see what that says. Where are we going? Uh, and now they have beat cops. This guy here is a beat cop. So if I do something stupid, he's going to get mad. Let's see. Where's the market at? There's something over here. Uh, alright, I'm wrong, in the wrong spot here somewhere. I got turned around. Do the cars not run you over anymore? That'd be nice. Um... lost but not too bad and this is kind of new this bridge I don't remember this bridge yeah I guess it was always here that was always here. yeah I remember it now sorry see this guy's holding his arm There's some kind of a weird thing going on in here where NPCs are holding their arms is this where I want to go that's not where I want to go Yeah, maybe if I just mark it, I'll find it a lot faster. I just figure it's pretty easy. It's usually... Maybe this is... Here it is. This is it. Okay. Ah, we got her. Let's go see what's going on down here. See if my girlfriend's still here. Oh, here you go. So let's see. Apparently all the Ripper docks have the same stuff now. So if I wanted to upgrade this, that is tier two. This is what I have as a tier two, which has, can we compare these? Let's look. Nope, can't compare them, come on. Yatch. Let me see, 14, 6, 5, 7, 16, Seven, six, eight. So the one I got is better. That one has six slots. This one has five. Okay. These are all tier two. This is tier two. This is tier two. So how do you get to the next level? The next tier, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Because they said all these guys have the same stuff now. All right, let's do this. Good check one more Ripper Doc. Don't duck. And then we'll get into some combat and see what happens with my, uh, since my combat's all messed up. We'll see what. I'm ready. All right, let's go to the fast travel thing. Where's the machine? Here it is. Let's look. There's a ripper dock here. And 
there's a little thing fast travel right there, so let's okay, now I know where I'm going. <coughs> Sorry. See, it may take a couple of videos for me to get this figured out, but we'll we'll figure it out. If I have to start over I will, but for now, I'm stubborn like I said. <laughs> I think it'd be a good way to get through everything if I've already got character set up and I can figure out how to shoehorn this character into the new system. Let's see if this guy has the same stuff. They did say that. Ripper docks all have the same stuff now, but let's see. Which I don't understand what the point is having all the Ripper docks then. You know? And that is pretty much the case. They got all the same stuff. What's this? Arms? Oh, I see. Okay. Eyeballs. So everything... I gotta, I gotta upgrade that somehow. Before I can... Or... You craft it. I don't know how that works. Everything is tier 2 here because I have a tier 2 cyberware. I have a tier 2 operating system. Right? My operating system is tier 2. That's what this is. Now, what does it say? Oh, here we go. Okay, okay, hold on. How do I upgrade it? I need components. Ah, uh, that's what I need is components. I hate that. I really hate that. That was one of the things I hated about Horizon Forbidden West is the whole grind for getting components and materials. I need 37. Uh, what do they call rare components? to upgrade my cyber deck. So it's all going to be a grind to get materials. And I do hate that. I just really hate that. I know some people like grinding. And in this game, okay, now I might be wrong, but you know, in Horizon Forbidden West, the enemies respawn, so you can grind away and get all the materials you need. And here, the enemies don't respawn, so how do you get the materials? Because you can't buy them anymore. They said you can't buy upgrade materials anymore. Let's see what I got as far as upgrade materials are concerned. Where are they? Here we go. See, I only have two. And these are rare upgrade materials. Tier 3 item components. Oh, it's called Tier 3 now. Okay, not rare anymore. Tier 3, Tier 4, Tier 5, Tier 1, Tier 2. So I need an ass load of Tier 3 components. And I know you can, you know, collect weapons, and, you know, you collect weapons, and you grind them up into little pieces. And Either way, though, you've got to get rare weapons. Now, I gotta, you know, have, I'm a big search for rare weapons. All right, so just gonna, okay. I am just gonna, dude. Let's go back to Kabuki because he didn't have any. He didn't have any materials. Let's see. I'm pretty sure they said you cannot buy upgrade so materials we anymore. Were saying... Yeah, we were. Just give me what I want. Yeah, he has nothing to buy. And I think even a junk shop, so that someone was saying that that just makes the junk shops obsolete. Because you can't buy anything from them anymore. Where's the junk shop at? He was over... Where is he? Where is he over here? Let's see. It wasn't down here. Maybe they just eliminated the junk shops altogether. Here he is. He's down here. Right here. 
Let's do a quick run over there. Just mark it. Come on. Let's do a quick run over there. There's another beat cop. So cops are everywhere now. You know, but I tell you what. These cops got balls being on the street all by themselves, that's for sure. Alright, let's get rid of this. This guy, he's kind of... He's not easy to find. Either. He's kind of buried in here like a tick. We'll have to mark him up so we can find him. Alright, let's mark him up. He is right here. See how you got... <laughs> it's freaking nuts trying to get to him. Alright, where we gotta go? This way. Wait, don't tell me that's a Jin Gucci dress. It is. I, I would. Right, so we gotta find our way. There's another beat cop. Do I wanna go this way, I guess, huh? Then this way. Nope, 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 nope. Made a wrong turn somewhere. Not that way. We gotta get up. We gotta go up somewhere along the line here. Ah! Wish I could zoom in on that. There's this, there's where we gotta go up there. How do I get up there? This way? Well, that's a fast travel there. Told you it was bad trying to get in here. But having even the map, trying to follow the map, it's like a giant piece of spaghetti, man. This way? Let's go this way. Okay, there's the Ripper Dock. We gotta go up. I gotta go up. Let's go up somehow. Where's up? This way? Okay, now it looks like I'm following the line. Not that way. This way? Nope. Idiot thefts! This way? track now. I recognize this. Uh, we want to go this way. Nope, 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 nope. He's right over here somewhere. There he is. Junk guy. Let's see what he's got. Where were we? Any new imports in the trash kingdom? And they gotta, gotta do skip button too. Yes, he doesn't have any materials anymore. You can't buy any materials from him. So that's that. Alright, so I'm not gonna make you all watch me get out of here. Uh, we're gonna call a video right here and I'll meet you all back at Kabuki Market, and then we'll uh, do some action. See how this all works. So, if you're watching, thanks for watching. See ya.